One time for the birthday chick. Two times for the birthday chick. Three times for the birthday chick. Go ahead and fish your birthday chick. Get up and fish your birthday. Get up and fish your birthday. Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. So today it's my birthday. Today I turned 25. Crazy, 25. Oh, I got my nails done. You know? So I got my nails done. It's been a minute since I got them done. But look at them. Beow! Okay, so I thought it would be a really fun idea to do a get ready with me on my birthday. We could chit chat and play with some new makeup products. So this is something that you are interested in. Continue watching. So I recently got this package sent to me. It was today. Got this package sent to me today. And it's from El Maquillage. We're going to be playing with some of the goodies that we sent here. We're going to be playing with some of the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Mattes. You guys don't know how hard it was to not want to like dip in and play. Cause I mean, I so freaking pretty, so I cannot wait. I've seen the swatches and I'm like, ooh. Uh. And I want to play with the Jaclyn Hill makeup vault. Ooh. This isn't the new formulated eyeshadow, but once that arrives, we can do like a comparison side by side, but I do want to play with that. And I want to play with this Born This Way Conceal All. Ooh. I'm going to go in with my Morphe Micro Brow Pencil, and this is in Chocolate Mousse. I love this thing. Super affordable, goes on like butter, and it gets the job done. It's better than 24, 25. So we're gonna go in and fill my eyebrows. I've been doing pretty good with not plucking them. Do you see my safe? I'm just gonna fill them in. I'm not gonna bring any product right here. Bring out the tail a little bit. I want to look really cute today. So crazy, yesterday I was 24 and now I'm 25. I didn't even really celebrate anything for like my last day being 24, you know? It's just crazy. I feel like time is flying. I feel like my pregnancy is flying. It's just so freaking crazy. But this year is going to be really good, watch. Oh, I feel like this eyebrow looks good. Does anyone want to make any mean faces when they're doing their brows? I feel like I hella scrunch up my face like this. I don't know why, but that eyebrow looks good, Mina. Boom, boom. <gasps> so my babe re recently uploaded a new video on his channel. You guys definitely should go check it out. It's us cutting up the jackfruit. If it wasn't for Rudy looking into like healthy alternatives and stuff, I would have never discovered jackfruit. And it's actually pretty, pretty good. There's one recipe that he's going to have uploaded very soon and it's the pulled pork. That one is so freaking good. So I'll leave his information up and down below. Make sure to check it out so you guys can see. Show my babe some love. So I know when I post him on Snapchat and we're like doing the jackfruit, a lot of you guys were interested. It's so hard to multitask when it comes to eyeliner and eyebrows. I feel like it's so freaking hard. I really like how this brow came out. There's always one brow you like more and this one is my freaking best friend. I love how she comes out. She's always acting right. Never acting sassy. I feel like she just blends like a dream. Just but the other one always wants to be acting like a little bitch, so I don't like that one. So now we're gonna clean it up using the Tarte Shape Tape, and this one is in medium, and we're just going to clean up her brow, and this just, just brings it all together, makes your eyebrows look nice. You don't have to, but I like doing this step. And I'm gonna bring this down as well, so this can act as our eyeshadow base. So let's go into the vault. This thing is so freaking cute. So freaking beautiful. <laughs> so here is the freaking adorable packaging. I love the packaging, it looks so freaking pretty. This one is Bling Boss. Ring the alarm. I really like this package right here. Ah, then we have Dark Magic. Oh, that's cute. They even changed this to like right here. This one is like gold. This one is like reddish. That is so cute. Armed and gorgeous. Okay, I know which one I'm gonna use. I'm going to use this one right here, Ring the Alarm. 
I keep wanting to read the name right here where it says Jacqueline and Morphe like a freaking dumbass. So we're gonna go in with Siren. Ooh, that looked pretty good. Friends, we're just gonna go t -t -t -t, and then blend. And again, this is, I don't know if this is one of the good formulas, this, this is one of the bad, but I do, I did wanna play with it. So let's just hope this is one of the good formulas. Okay, I'm gonna add that in there. And I might dip into my Smashbox too, because I've seen some really pretty colors in the Smashbox one. So we might dip into that one as well. But framed is going on pretty good. It looks pretty freaking good. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, remember I told you I wanted to play the Smashbox? Starring Golden Barbie. It's her right here. She's like a beautiful Smashbox. Sent me. She's beautiful. Alice. Again, this is in the collaboration with Golden Barbie. You guys have seen me play with these palettes before. The Cover Shop palettes. I will link Shay Mitchell's collaboration. Beautiful as well. So here is this one. The name of this one is Pinks and Palms Eye Palette. Woo! So we're gonna go in with this pink right here. And I'm just going to add it above. Ooh, just above. We're not mix it in the we're not mixing it in the crease or anything. We're just adding that right above. Okay, and then I want to go in with secret. We're just going to add that in the crease and blend that. I'm just gonna build up this crease shade. That one's really pretty too. It's like a really pretty sort of brown shade. Ooh. Okay, so we'll use this one too. This one is the Bling Boss. So I'm just gonna be playing with all kinds. We don't just gotta stick to one. So going in with the Bling Boss, we will be picking up Sparks. <gasps> yes. And oh yes. That's the kind of action I was looking for. Hmm. Oh yeah. That is so freaking pretty showing. Okay. So Sparks is giving me exactly what I wanted. I wanted that really pretty wine, boom, 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 and it's doing it. So I'm freaking thrilled about that. Cause I wanna go in with some glitter. I'm like all over the place, but I wanna go in with this glitter right here by Urban Decay. This is a cat call, Urban Decay, heavy metal glitter eyeshadow. Yeah, look how freaking pretty that is. So that's kind of where I wanted to like play in. So I'm really happy that oh, the shade oh, and it's going on so freaking good. Me blending that. I'm happy with it, you guys. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with this shade right here, which is Melon Baller. Shot color. Okay, we're just gonna add that right above. <laughs> then we're just going to cut the crease. I'm gonna add this right here. I like to put it right on my lid, like that, and then go like this. And wherever it transfers, because it is going to transfer up, that's where I cut it. So just take your time. Ballsy looks, is that what it says? Ballsy. <laughs> okay, I might use ballsy just because it says that. So here is ballsy. Okay, so here is ballsy. Glitz and glams, ballsy, and this one is bling bling. Here's a lolly, and let's see how lolly looks. So there is lolly. So this one is bold glitter eye palette, the Smashbox. So here's pinky ring, and then this one is let's reflect because if I'm looking at the names right here, it says Gold Digger is supposed to be this one, but I think it's like this. I swear palettes like that be messing me up. Damn, look at that. So they're so freaking pretty. And I will be using the Too Faced Glitter Glue just so that the eyeshadow has something to stick to. I'm gonna go in with the glitter glue first. And it already feels tacky, so the eyeshadow is going to stick right on it, like mushic. And we're gonna pick up that shade with a brush. If you don't have nails, do it with your finger. You probably will get so much more pay up. Oh, 
pay off. Let's see. Mira. Ooh, that is beautiful. And I'm just tapping it on and just lightly spreading it out. Ooh, hell yeah. Mira, look at that. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is freaking beautiful. Okay, so we're just gonna repeat the step on the other eye. I'm very impressed with how nice that looks. Like the glitter payoff. Like, you know, sometimes there's glitter eyeshadows and you're just like, oh, it's more like oil than anything. Not this. So I'm really happy with how freaking good that looks. This one is definitely gonna be one of my favorites. This one right here, if you guys are looking for a good glitter eyeshadow palette, this one is a Bold Glitter and Eye Cover Shop by Smashbox. I can't wait to see how the other ones apply. This one, what? It looks freaking good. Okay, so just because I wanna add a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeshadow, and again, this one is Cat Paul. I'm just gonna add a little bit right there. I'm just gonna focus that right in the center. It just blended in. But I'm still going to do it to the other side to make it even. <sighs> you can kind of see it, but it really just blends in because it's really that good. Okay, so I'm going to add some tape because I'm going to blend the eyeshadow right here. And I feel like the tape it helps build up the pigment. Okay, so let's go back in with Framed. And this one is the Ring the Alarm. And we're just going to blend it right there. Just, just tap and then lightly blend. Ooh. That looks so pretty. Can you see? Okay. We're just gonna blend it just right there. So I'm gonna go in with some mascara. We're just gonna do a little wing, nothing too much because I want the main focus to be on my lid. And it's just a pretty like boom boom, but if I have to, I'll change them in a little bit. I'm about to fucking take off. So we're gonna be trying, this is Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer, Soothing Rosehip and Argan Oil, Pore Perfecting. So this is it right here. I hear so many people say so many good things about it. So I wanted to give it a try, so hopefully it works out. And it just looks fancy, like look how like fancy the bottle looks. Oh, I got a hard broker. Now that my pores have been changing, they're getting a little bit bigger right here. So hopefully that helps with the pores. Oh, and it kind of looks like it gives you like a smooth kind of surface. Okay, all right. Oh, that feels pretty good. Definitely blurred my pores. It feels like velvet. So since we're on that Urban Decay thing, I do want to use Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation. I'm in the shade 7.75. I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty sponge and we're just going to blend this into our skin. I am going to hurry up. My face does look pretty nice. We'll be trying out the Born This Way Concealer. Super coverage, multi-use sculpting concealer, conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. So I'll go into more detail with a separate video, but for now, I just want to try out concealer. Warm beige is like calling me. And it's so big. Pretty big. Okay, so this is conceal, contour, highlight, retouch. I'm excited, it's my first time using it. So let's see, oh. And I love their other, see I already have this one. This one is a Born This Way Naturally Radiant, Radiant Concealer. Love this one. I use a light, medium, and medium favorites. So I can just imagine how this one's going to be. Maybe I should do a, this one versus this one. This one is a concealer. This one is to conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. Fair. Right, and I like how big the Dolpha applicator is. Hello. Let's see. Okay, we're just going to dab this in. I like how that went in. That looks really nice. And it doesn't feel like a thick concealer. It feels very lightweight, which I like, and that's what I like about the other one. It's very, very light and does not feel thick at all. So I will be using Mocha to contour. Let me see my baby hairs. Let's see, chestnut. I have a chestnut. Okay, chestnut. So we're gonna mix those two together. Oh, you wait, wait, fuck. And this one. Okay, I'm just going to blend that in here. Okay, 
I really like how it's just like blending in. It looks really good. What I like is that the concealer has a lot of coverage, but it's not thick, which is good. So now we're going to set with my favorite powder. Where the hell is it? And this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. If you guys have not used this setting powder, give it a try. You guys will love it. It makes your face look so flawless, so smooth, goes on like butter, and it smells delicious, and it tastes good. So we're going to go in with our damp beauty sponge, top off any excess, and then apply that right underneath. Misty My, ugly. Smell. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna try is a more free throw shade and shimmer new eight low fi and eight high fi sculpt and shimmer palette and it has Miss Laura Lee on it. Beautiful as always. So let's go in and try. I have not opened it at all. I wanted to save it for this video. This one is 8L. Lo-Fi Highlight Contouring Palette. This one is 8H High Five. High Five. High Five. Beneha. So we're going to use this one, which is 8H. I'm going to put the shade right here. I'm going to add that right there. Ooh! That's like really pigmented. And here. I'm going to go in with Blogger just to deepen it up. These are really, really, really pretty. And it has highlighters in there. Oh my gosh. So now I'm going to go in with the Bye Bye Pores Blush. And this one is Sweet Cheeks. <laughs> I love the way the backdrop looks. Okay, so now we're going to go to our bottom lash line. I will be using Hex. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. Oh shit, but I'm going to use it as an eyeliner. I didn't know it was a lip pencil. So I'm going to add this to our bottom lash line. It's like a burgundy wine shade. That's kind of what I'm going for. See, you can use it for whatever you want. Just because it says lip, doesn't mean you gotta just use it for your lip. So now going back into that Morphe and a Jaclyn Hale collaboration, I will be picking up Sparks. And this one is Bling Boss. I'm just going to add that to the bottom of lash line. Okay, now I'm going to use one of the highlighters out of here. So this one is the 8H palette. Beam looks like it's going to be very pretty, Mira. Ooh. Beam. This one is Venus. I think I'm going to be applying Venus. Ooh. Venus right in our inner eye. Underneath my brow bone. Okay, so now we're going to set our face. I will be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And it has my name, which is extra special to me. See? Alexis Jada. Here we go. That's nice. Now for our lips. The you better work. Ooh, look it. It matches the background. Look at the shade. Oh. Okay, I'm going with this one. I picked it. Okay, let's go. So using the LA Girl Lip Liner, this one is in chocolate. We're going to align our lips. Now we're going to use a Too Faced Melted Matte Metallic. Get it? Metallic. Oh, okay. Are they going to smell delicious? Jeez. Oh, look at that. Okay, here we go. Oh, dang. That is really, really pretty. It's not what I was expecting. Oh, that smells really, really good. Thank you, Too Faced. Oh. Okay, okay. That looks so nice. Ew, I just seen the monitor and how my freaking chins were like all. Done. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to show you guys the after. So this is the end of my get ready with me for my birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Besos a todos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.